Okay, this video is going to show you how to add doors and windows to your one-story house in Homestyler. You're going to first want to go to the website and log in. I'm already logged in. So now you can just click, go down here to the drop-down and say My Designs. This will give you the list of all your different designs. Here's my one-story house. So I'm just going to click on Edit Design. If you click Edit Project, that takes you to a different area. So make sure you say Edit Design. Okay, so this is how I left the design last. It had dimensions on, it does not have the background image that has the original floor plan. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to start by turning off the dimensions. I don't want to look at all these dimensions, it just sort of clutters the look. So that's a choice you can make. Um, and now I also want to turn my background on. To do that, you just come down here to background and click show. And this allows you to see where the original floor plan had doors and windows. You're also going to want to have your original website open just so that you can reference some images. If you remember, you were supposed to have created this Google Doc that had a link to that. So you can click there. You hopefully also have an image here. So if you need to reference it, you can check this as well. So the reason I want to do that is because I need to know what types of doors and windows I'm going to add. Um, here's my original website. So I can see these two doors have a glass front. Uh, this window looks like a double hung window. Just so that you remember, here are the door symbols for a floor plan. So we went over this in class. Remember, this is just your standard type of hinged door both interior and exterior. Exterior has that line across it. A bifold door, um, which looks like this, the one that sort of swings halfway open. A sliding door, which is this kind where it passes beside or behind each other. A pocket door is this kind of door where it slides open into the wall. Um, and so on. There's French doors, which are two double doors, typically an exterior door. A uh, panel door is a common door for interior just because it looks nice as compared to a flush door. These are both interior doors, but one is a nicer looking door than the other, but they're all just going to have this symbol. All right, so let's start with doors. I'm going to go to my home designer, or sorry, home styler. And to add doors, you click here under the building tab. And now there are all kinds of things you can add, but we're going to add doors. Um, and I'm going to click on swing doors, which are your standard hinged doors. Uh, and you can see there are lots of doors here. I wanted a white one with glass, so you can scroll through until you find one that you think somewhat matches your house's picture. And let's say this one's good enough. That one might work as well. Actually, I'm going to use this one. So now you can just click on that and insert it into your model. And some reason my background image isn't on. I thought I turned that on already. There we go. And hit escape. And I think I might have. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I put a door over there. OK, don't think I actually added that door. If you're not sure, you can always go to your 3D bird's eye view. So if you come and click under this and click at the 3D, this will show you your bird's eye view. Um, it removes the front wall so you can see inside your house. So you can rotate around. Yeah, and I see that there's no door there. So I'm going to have to go back. And if you click this, it'll bring you back to the floor plan view. Let me move my guy out here so I can see what's going on a little better. And now I'm going to go back and add another door. It was on the second page. Okay, so you're going to want to click on where you want the door, and then you can adjust if it's flipping in or out. You can tell from the floor plan that it goes to the inside and swings over to this side. Let me get off of there. So now you can see that that's about right. And I would like that door to be a little more centered, so I'm going to scroll in there, click on the door, and 
you can nudge it with your um, arrow keys. And so now I can see it's centered on that wall. Um, you can add another entry door over here as the floor plan shows. If I go back to my website, oh, there are actually two exterior doors there, but they're a little narrower than this one. So you can add that same type of door. And I think it's easier just to place it down and then change the size. So you're going to want to flip this door. So click on the door. The flip arrows come up. And here's where I can make it a smaller door. So let's say 30 inches. And then you can place the same kind of door over there. You can do the same thing for interior doors. Um, there's a bifold, or sorry, not a bifold, a double door, um, and so on. This, let me show you in the floor plan view. This is just an archway. If you see a dashed line that's in a wall, it's like an interior archway. So to do that, you go to the building as well. And come back to the main menu and say wall openings. And now it's sort of up to you. The floor plan is not going to tell you if it's an archway or a squared off top. Um, I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm just going to pick one of them. That's obviously a little bigger than what we need. But I'll place that down. And then edit the size. I'm going to call it 3 feet 6 inches. You can actually grab and drag that too so that it just matches right where your uh, floor plan shows it. And now, if you want to change to your interior view, you can see I have an archway right as you go into that um, house. I could check it out by going through the door as well, rotate your guy around, and now you can see that the archway there. So that's how you manipulate your views to see what it looks like. So those are the doors and the openings. Now for windows, uh, let me just show you types of windows, because that's important that you get those right. So this is a standard double hung window. It's the kind that slides um, up and down. A lot of you probably have them in your house. Um, this is just multiple double hungs. The other very common window in floor plans is a casement window. Those are the kind that you can crank open or closed. Um, there are also bay windows and so on. You should know that if you have a casement window, it's going to look a little bit like a hinged door, but it won't be in a place that makes sense for a door, or you could look at your elevation view to see if it's a door versus a window. They do look similar, but they are slightly different. Um, so to add windows, same place, you just go to building, and here are windows. You could say standard windows, and there are a lot of options in here. I'm going to find a double, what looks like, these are double hung windows. I want a white trim double hung though, so here we go. And that one, was, there was one here in the wall. And I'm going to drag these little arrows in. And now I want to look at my bird's eye view to see. Oh, maybe I'll go to my other view. Yeah, since the, the bird's eye view will take away the front walls, and that makes it hard to see what's going on there. That looks about right. I think if you went back and looked, that window happened to be taller. So you can change the height of it here. There you go, say five feet. The lift is the height off the ground, so that looks like it should be a little lower now that it's a taller window. I did it Revit style where I did the space instead of the feet and inches sign, so that doesn't work. Okay, so that's how you add doors and windows. Um, make sure you try to add them as best as you can tell to your floor plan view, meaning I know it's going to be hard sometimes to tell what type of window is exactly where, um, but do your best to interpret that. Look at your different views that you were given here. Unfortunately, for the house that I selected, there was only one view. Hopefully, you have a house that has two different views, front and back. Uh, and then when you're done with that, you can fill in 
um, a document that looks similar to this where you're giving me just like this is the walls one uh, but you will give me images snipped images that show me the different um, views so i'll probably ask for a floor plan view along with um, the what you want to call it this man view where it's like the man is looking at the house let me change the 3d view i guess they call it um, maybe one from each side of the house actually how about this i will have you do the man view but um if i click on camera settings and change this so it's a little bit higher up and hopefully that would let you see into the house without it cutting off Yeah, so if you just rotate around and then give me a view so that I can see them, whoa, sorry, so that I can see the majority of your doors and windows, you can also angle this down um, and play with the views here if you need to. All right, that's it for now.